Today, I'd like to continue to induce the uh, how to automatically operate in the Domo and dashboard. Today's topic is mainly introduced about the operating data set in Domo. Actually, there are three kinds of data flow method in the Domo I have used recently. The first one is the Domo Magic ETR. The second one is Domo Data Fusion. The last one is Domo SQL. Before I introduce the one by one, let us compare this three kind of methods. Uh, as data fusion, the definition is uh, data fusion is basically provide, provides a simple UI to select data sets and join them by columns based on column keys or by rows. If all the data sets schemes match, the output is always basically a new data set. Advantage is uh, it's fast and easy to join or append data sets using simple UI. Another Good point is that data fusion can deal with large data set. For example, some data sales numbers or the other data is updated directly throughout the day. Actually, recently I have used this three kind of uh, data flow method. Uh, I develop a daily uh, dashboard, but the data set is over 200 or 300 uh, thousand rows. It's very large data set. When I use the Domas score magic ETR, I found it's not easy to complete my data uh, compiling, uh, like the left join uh, for the large data to large data set. Uh, each data set is over 300 rows, 300,000, 300,000 rows. Uh, sometimes it's uh, take very long time to complete, sometimes it's failure. So why you? I use the data fusion is easy and simple and fast to complete the data join with the two large data sets. Of course, there are some disadvantages of this uh, uh, data fusion. Firstly, uh, data fusion uh, it can use uh, uh, as inputs for data flows. Secondly, not so flexible. Some operation like renaming the column and fielding some columns and some groups method, which have used in the MySQL and the magic ETR. The second method is the data ma uh, magic ETR. Magic ETR, which is very tutorial with drag and drop func functionality. Um, the lets you visualize your data flows on the on the go. For example, the advantage is it's where it's visualize drag and drop your data flows. Secondly, it's very flexible, like fielding, like dropping data, machine learning tools, or Python or R scripts for data transformation. It's very flexible. Uh, of course, there's some disadvantage I just mentioned. Big data can take a long time to run or update in Domo. Uh, the last data flow method is MySQL. MySQL provided, uh, Domo provided Swiss SQL expression types to write SQL in sentence. MySQL write sheet and uh, at the near, near nine, I may use my cycle uh, in, in, in my uh, domain dashboard. Of course, that could be the advantage of the my cycle data flows. It's more flexible, like you have like you have done in the uh, my cycle in database, like uh, renaming, floating, grouping, and deleting. It's very easy. And flex for it. Uh, of course, there's some of the uh, insufficient uh, or disadvantages about this method. For example, the same as the magic ETR, the big data can take a long time to run or update in Domo. Secondly, you have to understand the SQL logic. Today, uh, firstly, I want to uh, introduce data fusion. Uh, data fusion, uh, this is the uh, data fusion. Uh, uh, interface I want to use today. For example, the two data sets I have uploaded uh, in last time, the GMS order data sets and the profit uh, course data sets. 
based on two data sets, we want to left join the data GMS order data set to the uh, profit cost data set with uh, common problems, data and group. So this is, for example, this is the problems. Uh, for example, this is the group and data play uh, to left join with the two data sets. This is the old preview of the uh, join. Uh, of two sets based on the group and data. Let me uh, impose the in the domo dashboard. Dashboard, there are two uh, data sets, profit cost and the GMS order. Uh, today that I have uploaded last time. Okay, let's uh, in just how to use the data building. Firstly, click the brand here. Okay, you can uh, name the data building, for example, uh, GMS order, GMS profit. It's a data building method, data building. Okay, and select data set, for example, profit, uh, cost, uh, another one, GMS order. Okay, you can select more data set. And uh, of course, you can add chromos, like, like a left join, you can add lows, select a pending. For example, select data field for the GMS, so we want to left join data type. Another one is profit cost, this high, and the left join. Okay, another uh, Chrome we want to use for left join is uh, GMS order group, same as the profit, co profit cost group. Okay, now we have uh, using this building to left join the the GMS order data set to the profit cost based on two common problems, uh, data type and group, and you can create to build the preview. Okay, now this is the, uh, uh, the new data set based on the two data set uh, uh, compiling. Uh, this is the new problem uh, from the profit cost data and profit cost number uh, goals. This profit and cost. Okay, we just uh, uh, save. Okay, cool. Now we can get the this data set, new data set here. And this is overview of the data set. Of course, maybe we can some uh, of. Oh, More like the you can click to edit this one, and also you can uh, you can edit your data building if you want to. Add it again. Okay, this is the uh, new data set which created by the data building. Now we want to use this uh, data set for our dashboard. Let's click the dashboard. For example, I want to uh, create a summary table for. Uh, the daily for the total GMS, total profit, based on the data set that we just created. Okay, create a new data card and select the existing data set, this one. Okay, uh, summarize, summarize of GMS and the profit uh, 
I want to summarize all the data from June 1st to July 2nd. Okay, let's change as another table. Maybe we table. Okay, maybe use this one. Some my table. Control groups. Uh, for example, we don't want to use it like this. Group. For example, with some uh, wires, data type from okay. Uh, with for example, we want to sum the GMS. Yeah, and uh, sum the profit. Okay, and we delete this one. Now we can get the total uh, GMS, total profit of these two groups between June 1st and July 2nd, based on the outdated building. So, it's very simple and fast. Save. And uh, Okay, this is the summary table. Okay, it's complete. Thank you. Let's uh, let us uh, say in uh, meeting next uh, video.